Well, ranchers in northeast Washington say they're under attack from wolves. The Diamond M Ranch in North Stevens County says it lost at least 17 cows in the last year to wolves. KXOI4's Aaron Luna has more. It's presumed the wolves were driven out of this region in the 1930s by homesteaders and ranchers. But it wasn't until Labor Day weekend of 2007 in this spot right here on the Diamond M Ranch that wolves returned, killing two calves. The first documented kill in Washington in decades. In a pen on the Diamond M Ranch, Len McIrvin looks over two injured calves. It had an area as big as a soccer ball taken out of it at one time and now it's starting to fill in. Attacked by wolves, one may live, the other probably won't be so lucky. This is a cattle killing pack of wolves and total elimination is the only answer. McIrvin's family has been ranching the Diamond M for five generations. Wolves haven't been a serious problem until the last couple of years, killing 16 head of cattle last year and more than 40 this year. I see wolf tracks all over. Him everywhere. But paw prints and dead cattle are the only signs they're leaving. They're ghosts. Even if McIrvin caught a wolf killing a cow, he couldn't do a thing. Wolves in northeast Washington are protected by the state. All the wolves that are here have come here on their own from either from Idaho, Montana, or from British Columbia. The Department of Fish and Wildlife says it's surprised how fast wolves are recolonizing the region and recognizes this pack of at least eight need to be destroyed. A couple of different groups of hunters up there uh, as well as we are uh, we are conducting trapping operations as well. But Mick Irvin says he needs his hands untied to protect what was given to him by his father. It's not the wolves we're fighting. The wolves do what wolves do. They, they're killers. It's the bureaucracy, the regulations and the restrictions. And at least one senator agrees. Senator Bob Morton represents this district. We've made this a choked up situation. We've got to unchoke it and give these people an opportunity to raise some of the best beef in the world. So for now, Mick Irvin has to rely on fish and wildlife hunters and hope his cowboys can keep some wolves at bay. Try and have a presence out there, which is impossible when you're talking 40,000 acres. The Diamond M Ranch says if nothing is done about the wolf problem this year, they'll have problems sustaining their production into next year. Reporting by the Canadian border, Aaron Luna, KXOY4, HD News.